Located in the heart of New York City and with a global alumni network of 48,000 plus, you're only a short subway ride away from a Columbia Business School connection. Join notable alum including Warren Buffett, Henry Kravis, and Shelley Lazarus. In today's video, I'm going to tell you exactly how to get into Columbia Business School so you can soak in that New York advantage. Hey guys, Nadine here with Inspira Futures, the admissions consulting firm dedicated to getting you accepted into your dream MBA program. To kick things off, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're looking for some one-on-one -on -one help with your MBA application, visit our site linked below to schedule your free consultation. Before we head into Columbia's class profile stats, I wanna to quickly touch on the flexibility of Columbia's MBA program, something that sets it apart from many other top business schools. If you're looking for the ability to complete your MBA in less time, Columbia Business School gives you the option of enrolling in August or January. While August is the traditional MBA route, which 70% of accepted students take, 30% of students choose to enroll in January, known fondly as the J term. If you don't need or want to do an internship, this accelerated program allows you to obtain your MBA in just 16 months, which is a really good option for those short on time or for those who don't want to be out of the workforce for a full two years. Now, the first step in understanding how to get into Columbia Business School is to understand the academics, experiences, and backgrounds of accepted students. Each year, Columbia receives close to 7,000 applications and admits around 800 students, making for an 11% acceptance rate. Columbia's accepted students achieve a GMAT score between a 580 and a 780, with the average accepted score being a 726. Now, when we look at undergraduate majors, we see that most accepted students come from business and economic backgrounds, but other majors such as engineering, social sciences, and humanities and sciences are also represented. In terms of work experience, the class average is five years. 30% of accepted students come from financial service industries, 23% from consulting, 14% from marketing and media, and 8% from technology. Less than 5% of students have backgrounds in each of the following industries, nonprofit, real estate, healthcare, military, energy, and manufacturing. So now that you know the makeup of accepted students, what do you need to apply? Well, Columbia has created a checklist of application materials and you'll need to tick off each of the following items to be considered for admission. First is your transcripts. You'll need to submit copies from every college or university where you've earned a degree. Next is your GPA, and this should match your exact GPA on your transcript. After that is your GMAT, executive assessment, or GRE score. Moving on to the short answer questions and essays. Columbia's essay and short answer questions are designed to assess your professional goals post-MBA as well as why you feel that you'd be a good fit at their school. They may also ask questions aimed at determining your leadership potential, your ability to problem solve or handle failures, or you may even find a personal question, which will help Columbia get to know the real you outside of your professional interests and achievements. You'll also need to submit the standard two recommendation letters. One should come from a current supervisor, while the other should come from a former supervisor or a senior associate. Remember, always choose recommenders who know you well and can showcase your performance, your desirable qualities, and your potential. You'll finish off this checklist by submitting your application fee, and if you're one of the lucky ones, you'll be invited to interview. Now, I wanna give you our top three tips for getting accepted at Columbia Business School. First, apply early. Unlike most business schools where applicants apply in rounds, Columbia Business School uses a rolling admissions process. As more time passes, your chance of admission decreases as interview and class spots are filled by other candidates. So for the best chance of admission, you should submit your application as early as possible. My next tip is demonstrated leadership potential across a longitudinal time frame. So as with many business schools, Columbia is looking for applicants with a history of leadership. Columbia wants to see that you have shown leadership potential throughout your career. For example, they're interested in seeing how many times you got promoted and the impact you had during each of those experiences. One of the best ways to demonstrate your leadership abilities is also through your letters of recommendation. Michael Robinson, Director of Admissions at Columbia Business School states, when I read your recommendation and it's from an expert practitioner who is your boss, does that person say, I've been in this space for 10 to 20 years and this is why I think she has the potential to be a leader in the future because this is what I've seen her do. And my last tip for you is to show that you fit into Columbia's rapidly transforming culture. In recent years, Columbia has transformed its cutthroat culture into one that's focused on involvement and collaboration. With over 100 student organizations, Columbia is looking for candidates who will fit in with the school's now strong culture. 
Listen to what Eliza Coleman, student government co-president, has to say. Once you get here, you get enveloped into that community really quickly. You almost don't even have a choice about it. Your cluster becomes your family, you start going to club events, and you meet people and find your niche incredibly quickly. Dean Robinson echoes the sentiment of community. In the end, we want people who are going to add value to our community, and you can't really add value without knowing the community, taking the time to immerse yourself, and asking, is this the right thing for me, given what I want to do? So reach out to current students, visit the school's campus, attend school events, and all this will help you prove that you really do fit in with the current culture. So that's exactly how to get into Columbia Business School. Hopefully you liked this video and found it helpful, so please subscribe, like, and leave a comment with any questions that you might have. If you want to know how you can individualize yourself from the thousands of other applicants, then jump onto our website linked in the description so you can schedule your free 30-minute consultation. Thanks for watching. That's a wrap. Catch you next time.